replacing the tub drain. I tried the method of putting a screwdriver in here and turning it to unscrew this, but the tree just broke out. So I'll now try a, a tub drain removal nut or bit or whatever that's called in a wrench. Stick it in there. And they're pretty good. Oh, I just got a little bit more persuasion uh, for this uh, drain to come loose. This thing's stuck in there pretty good, so I'm going to try a few more tools. Oh well, looks like I'm going to use the, the tool that I use for everything. I dremeled a cut line along here and also along there and so. Okay, and these looks like I need to cut a little bit more on the bottom. Try cutting this out right there, also. Now that I cut through, the old drain is breaking out fairly easily. Here's a little bit more right here. Oh, not super easily, but it is breaking out. Uh, let me move the camera and just work on it some more. But, yeah, you get the general idea. Cut through, break out. Got everything cleaned up, so I'll put the washer back in. Or install the new washer, actually. I installed the plumber's putty on the drain and also with a fillet screwdriver remove the stopper so I have access to this right here to screw it down. So slide it in. Removing the excess plumber's putty. Tapping the stopper screw. Leak tests, please no bubbles. I drilled an access hole in the wall uh, opposite from the bathtub to check for leaks. Uh, that cap was loose, so I definitely will be cutting an access hole in the wall. So the good news is, don't need a fiber optic camera. But I suppose the bad news is, uh, this bathtub is taking um, uh, five or ten times longer than I expected. But it happens.
cutting the excess hole in the wall. This should be pretty straightforward. We'll finish up the corners using the multi-tool. I'm tightening the loose knot And then I'll uh, uh, run the bathtub and make sure there's no leaks around uh, this joint since I put a heavy force trying to get the uh, uh, drain nut off. Recap of the tub drain installed. Everything's in. I ran the water, fill the tub, and let the tub drain, and check for links along the drain pot down there with tissue. And everything was dry. Also, uh, did check the overflow. The overflow's good. In hindsight, uh, when the old tub drain uh, would not come out, uh, just using wire pliers on the spider, I probably would have skipped this tool and gone directly to the Dremel to just cut the old drain out with the Dremel. When noticing this tool and putting a fair amount of torque on the wrench, I kind of felt uh, this pop right here uh, torque or deflect a little bit. So that's one of the reasons I cut a hole in the wall to make sure there was no uh, leaks. Oh, if anyone has comments about uh, how drains that are normally stuck in there or re renew or removed, uh, please leave a comment. And to finish this up, I'll just uh, glue some wood pieces in the corners, put the sheet right back on, and just patch it up, and it'll be all done. Upcoming uh, episodes include uh, bathroom fixtures installed, uh, basically everything except the tub drain. Most of the other stuff uh, went relatively well. So please click uh, subscribe uh, for more of uh, upcoming videos.